Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. I've been busy in between episodes and what I've been doing is I'm starting to move the the moon base into the here. Well this is the library and in the library I've actually set up some sorting barrels here and some sorting chests here to basically allow me to basically feed everything from whatever's being produced into here. And you'll notice that this one is actually slightly working. Let's just take a couple of out of here. I'll show you what I mean. So they should then come into here like this, and then they get taken out straight away, and they should be put back into this barrel. So that's how the sorting. It's really cool, actually. These um, these sorting chests they really work quite nicely. And this one is actually supposed to be the same colour as a TARDIS, but it doesn't quite work. So it's sorting connectors and that allows you to join things at the end here like this. So you've got some more. In fact, and of course here I've brought the temporal labs and put both of those batteries against both of those there so we can produce stuff independently. Here I've got just a little bit of a workstation at the moment with some chests in it and barrels like that. In fact, where's that one? There's both the jammer barrels. Got plenty of those at the moment. And here is where we did the uh, the raid on the Do on the Daleks and we've got lots of stuff from there. And here I've just got a some dyes and stuff like that. So that much is what I've been doing. Now the next thing I'm going to do today is I would like to show you what I've got on the base. We would like to use that. It always happens, doesn't it? Let's just put those saplings, whatever we picked up there, back in the base. So what actually happens here is some interesting stuff here. We've got some obsidian and what I'm going to do today is to produce this obsidian. This is the first part. It will take quite a while to do this. It's quite a long process. So let's start by doing that. And what I'm using is extra utilities and I need some cobblestone and let's have a look at the space I've got on me. A little bit of space. I'll need a stack of cobblestone. Let's take a stack of that and we'll take a stack of uh, bone meal and I've got a stack of clay too and now we've got some stone I think I've got some stone in the TARDIS so the first thing we're going to do is to, is to actually I've also built a, a crucible not crucible I've also built a, an alloy smelter we'll need that today so what I've got to do is I need to come in over here and I think in here I have got some interface cables for power. Let's put those there. And this is the item look. I don't think I need that for the time being. So what we're going to do is we're going to put say the, this down like, let's put it say here. Now let's put it here. And I will put some power into this. It would be nice to be able to run it from behind, but it doesn't really matter very much. So let's take the sonic screwdriver and set that to reconfigure mode. Put the roundle, the cable interface into the roundel, and then let's take some energy conduit power. Yeah, energy conduit and put that into here like this. So that'll then get power, which it is, and that's actually got a hundred thousand R if it can take. Let's come to the bag. I know I've got an octet capacitor somewhere about in here. I'll take one of those and put that into there. And that makes it go faster and also speeds it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some crucibles. So what we're going to do with that is we need some porcelain clay and then we just basically put that into a use into a year. We'll get nine crucibles and we're going to smelt those crucibles. Now while those are smelting we're also going to produce a barrel, a stone barrel. So I'll take the 17. So we just need a few a few slabs. Probably got those in my base, but like that. So we've got a stone barrel. I don't need the other bits just yet, so we'll put the what we've got left over back in here. I'll need that with me. And I'll also make a sign, I think. 
Or maybe better, actually, we make a stone pressure plate. Let's make a stone pressure plate. It's just basically to hold water back, that's all. And I want like some redstone. Let's take a stack of redstone. What we're going to do with the redstone is we're going to make some awesomeite. So I probably needed two stacks of awesome. Some awesomeite dust like this. And I need some diamonds, which I haven't got with me. I need to quickly whip back to the base and get those. Hopefully that's all I've not brought with me today. Let's take that like that. Oh, I used to know empty hands probably best, isn't it? Let's take a stack of flint and a stack of diamonds. We've got three, nearly three stacks in there at the moment. Oh, if I'm actually... So, oh, I'll tell you what we'll also do. We'll take this transmat interface off here. If I let's go back and can reconfigure this one. First of all, I think this is a, probably a good place. I want just to open it basically and take set it to dismantle mode and then the, dismantle this one over here like this because we're going to be coming back to the to the crafting table quite often. Transmat, that's the one on. So we take that like that and then we take the screwdriver to reconfigure mode and make sure it's set for this point which it is so now when we transmit back here we're coming to the spot right we're just basically ready for ready to do some crafting so now we're going to use this automite awesomeite here to make some awesomeite dust so we'll use what we can so it give us just a stack and a almost stack and a half of that then we're going to smelt this. So let's put does that work. So now we've got some crucibles. I've also got I don't need this link link mode. That's for actually that to do this colouring here. So for example, what I wanted to do is should be in link mode. So if I say I wanted to shift right click that and then right click this. See these are actually black and they're now black roundels. You can just about make that out, can't you? So it's probably better to leave them flat or blocked like they are at the moment. So now we should have some awesomeite ingots. So we'll let those carry on processing because we need those in a short while. I probably haven't got enough for all that we need. So it should do 63. One more. Like that, then it stops, of course, because it's uh, full. And then we turn this into a block, like that. So we then get seven blocks of this awesomeite stuff. Pure awesomeite blocks. They're cool, for, for, especially for this particular mod pack that we're playing at the moment, Galactic Science. Because we basically, oh, I haven't reconfigured this yet, have I? Okay, so what I want to do is now is to reconfigure this. Let's go to the dismantle mode first of all. And I want to dismantle this. And then I want to set it in the orange one or the brown one. And I want to set this now. It's right click, it sets the world target. What I've also done is I've built two more uh, farms. I'm not completely happy with what I've done here, but basically they're off the big chamber. I've got a feeling it'd be nicer if I actually made them one block deeper. So here we've got two farms. Let's go up first of all, like that. And you'll see there's two farms which we're looking across. Here's the big chamber. This is the top level of the big chamber. And as you long, move along here, this is actually the top farm and then we just go shift down here this is the bottom of the two farms and what I want to do I didn't any build any ladders either did I it doesn't really matter where you start but we're going to start in the corner here like this 
I want that. I want this. So first thing I'm going to do is to make a little area to generate cobble. And that's it. Just six blocks of cobblestone. I'll move that out of the way. Now I'm going to go back into my bag here and take a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. One side I'm going to put the lava and the other side I'm going to put the water. It doesn't make lava by itself, but let's put those out of the way and then get some more cobble. I'm going to put a block of cobble on top of the lava in case prevent it spitting and things falling in. So the next thing we would like is, um, where has it gone to? I think it's probably in the bag actually. Yes it is. It's a transfer node with a world interaction upgrade. So if I put this transfer node down here and then put into this the world interaction upgrade, it starts to pull the lava out of this without actually disturbing any of the other liquids. Great, huh? Now the next part of this exercise is to put down these automite ingot uh, blocks here. I'll we'll just take them like this. I'll do five for starters. And then we'll put on top of those the crucibles, like this. And we're going to feed into the top of these here um, cobblestone. And what they do is basically act like um, heat sources, the awesome ingots. So what do I need now? I need the I need some pipes like that. I'll need some fluid fluid ones. The transfer pipes. We'll put the transfer pipes here, for example. So that basically feeds into the top of all of these crucibles, whatever. And what we're going to feed into that is this, of course. So we shift right click that, I think should go in like that. And now each one of these should be getting some cobblestone in. And if you look on the left bottom right hand side, you'll see that the fluid of the lava is now slowly going up as the cobblestone is going in there. So what we're now going to do is we're going to take this cobblestone out and put that into a crucible. Now the problem here is with the crucible, this is one one I'd like to use the transfer nodes again, but I can't. Well, we'll take the we'll take the lava out of here first of all, put a liquid fluid transfer node out of here like this, and then bring that across one block into a barrel. Like that. And it can go into the side of the barrel, it's no big deal wherever it goes into. Could you actually move that slightly nearer up as well, but I think it can go into the side of the barrel. Like that. And then we should be getting lava in here like this. Which we have done. Underneath this I'm going to put an Ender IO item conduit. If I can see one. They're in this bag aren't they? I'll take a couple of these out of here actually. Where did that just be? Oh, got we already got three in there, so fine. Like this. And I'm going to feed this. Actually, what I also need is somewhere to put this stuff. I'll tell you what we'll do. All right, so let's take this one off here. I was going to feed this into um, a barrel. Maybe that's still a good idea. So let's take this here and shift left click this. Oops, that was a shift right click. Not what I wanted to do. Try again. Shift left click this. So it's in extract mode, which is fine, but we always want it active, like that. And that should then pull items out of here and put them into somewhere. Um, quickly, let's go back. I think we've got loads of... Oh yes, that's what I didn't do, did I? So I've cleared it now. So we'll, do, we'll do that again. Let's set it to here. Try again. And then we walk back to the to the base. This was something I was trying. This is a, a design by Panda4994, I think, to do automated fish farming. But because this is modded Minecraft, it doesn't work. Because they fixed the bug. So 
in the mod in Minecraft. Oh, Forge did. So, right, barrels, let's have a look. Oh, let's link this to a door first of all. I think the nearest door for us that we are not using is, is probably this one. So let's just do that, like that. Now, a barrel. Right, just put all those barrels in here. That's a loop. Just a standard barrel will be fine. Okay, now we can this time we can travel through the portal here. Oops. Funny that when you walk into the side of things, sometimes you, you walk through here and it goes push and it hits you on the head. It might be a good idea to put this and create another room with this one more layer down and to have a doorway in it so she could then come in faster. So Right, anyway, let's put this barrel down here like this, facing this thing. We'll put it in fact, we'll put it on there like that. Now, of course, we need to configure this so we go the right direction. So we just right click that there, and then it points into this. And we should, well, we won't do it yet because I missed something out. We need to put some water on top of this. So let's use this cobblestone here like this. Buck a couple, oh, wrong place, like that. So I need to put water on top of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some stone slab, cobblestone down there, and the pressure plate. I think I don't know. I can actually put a pressure plate on that like that. No, I can't. So I would actually need to put it underneath it. That's all right. We'll do that like that, like that. And then we can put some pressure plate on here like this. And then we take a, another bucket of water. Let's in fact fill this in to be consistent. Bucket of water, plenty of those around. We just put that bucket of water on top of there and that will then convert that into obsidian. The water is then being pulled straight out into this chest and we're starting to get obsidian. So I can now tidy this up a bit because it's can of course then take this obsidian and then bring that into the base somewhere. In fact, I'll leave it like this because then you can see it's actually working. Now to extend this and to make it go faster, all we need to do is add more awesomeite blocks at the back here and some more crucibles. So let's go and do that. You probably can't see the speed of this yet. It's done 21, 22. 23 so let's quickly whip back and get make some um need to do is to make some ladders as well plenty of wood i've got two ladders and that's not enough i'll make um some more you always end up with the odd stick don't you and the three is pretty good because it's actually three high but the next thing, part of this process, is to mine chem this as well and convert this into um, silicon dioxide. So let's have a look at mine chem. And we have these machines. So the thing we need to use is a chemical decomposer. So we basically, that's really straightforward one, seven iron ingots and one atomic manipulator which is lots of pistons around a block of iron. Okay. Pistons. Basically that's that and cobblestone, isn't it? Iron and redstone. Let's go. This full my inventory is full. Let's just quickly um, clear it out a little bit. What I don't want. I've got these trees. I don't want those trees. Where do I keep the trees? Probably in this chest over here for the time being. I also was going to do a test. I'll show you this test. What I was going to do, I got some temporal dirt here. So let's put it down. It doesn't really matter where. Let's put some piece down there. What I was going to say is whether it actually could actually use the end of the seeds on, on this to see if it actually works. Let's try that. See, I'll see if it grows. But it doesn't. It just bashes it. A few seconds later, it kicks it off and you get it back again. So that's not going to work, is it? So let's remove this, dismantle mode, right click it. I did a shift right click, I'll change the mode again. I will put that into there for the time being. In fact, 
I should have some more awesome mite ingots in here. Let's make take those and make some more awesome mite blocks. So we now got another six blocks. I'll put the the ingots in here, and I don't need the diamonds. So I do need this, and I'm not sure I've got enough iron on me. It would be difficult, but we need a block, don't we? And we need pistons. We need eight pistons, wasn't it? So I'm not got enough iron. But let's go and go back to the base. Got lots of pistons in the base. Twenty-one. We'll take some more iron one with that, and we'll leave the gold. So that was a block of iron, and it was surrounded by pistons, wasn't it? And we make this, and I've got a feeling for the decompose synthesizer, we need the same thing again. So we'll make two of these, in fact. So we need another block of iron. Fast. And this is actually one of the best things to use for your uh, redstone. Have I got that with me? No. We'll actually make both the machines at one time, I reckon. And it was just like that's wrong around, I think. That for the other one. So we need the chemical decomposer. And we also need to give these power. So that's something else I wanted. No, it's just ladders, wasn't it? Let's put those away. There. Uh, buckets I'm looking for. And I don't want them in this chest actually, I'll put them up here for the time being. I normally put those in the soul bound chest. Actually, might be four ladders I need. I can reach what I want. I can't. In fact, you only need three, but I like to put four because it looks better. So now we have this. So now what we're going to do is to take out of there these. So let's take out of there and we give it to the chemical decomposer. That's where it goes in. And I've got a funny feeling it has to go out of the top and come in the bottom. Let's put it up like this. And then, well, I can use Ender IO Conduit, probably the easiest, isn't it? To take this out of here, let's take it out from the top here. Doesn't really matter as much, does it? I don't think this works. But we will also open a roundel here. And get a power conduit. I don't need this with me. Let's sort that a bit. So many bits and pieces you need. The wrong one. I want one of these energy conduit things. Put that in there, and then we want to put into here. Have we got some? No. Um, that one. Some energy conduit. If I now attach this, I think I'm just going to try it like this, see if it works. It's got nothing in it at the moment, but that's because it's what I just put an energy conduit on that. Um, that's it, shift right click it, and then of course I've changed the direction of this, so I want it in extract, extract mode, always active. So that should then start to feed this. It's probably what the best thing to use. Actually, that's coming in the side, and I need that to come in the top. So as I thought, it needs to be in the top. So let's put that like that, and then remove this link here, like that. 
and we need to change the direction of this so that should now be getting obsidian in the top which it has done in fact what we need to do with this of course is to put this into here like this and then very quickly oops wrong that was clever wasn't it what i wanted to do was to yes i need to use an open hand to lock it so we keep the items in there so now you can see what's happening is we are getting silicon dioxide and manganese oxide so we, there's no uses for manganese oxide that I've found so we can simply throw those away so what the next thing we'll do is we'll take this out of here like this and basically we can attach that into any way we like so if we do it like this so I'm going to leave a little bit of space for the time being and I'm going to take the chemical synthesizer and I've got a feeling this also needs to go in the top. So let's remove this one first of all and put this one down here like that. And then we can extract this. But what I want to do is I only put into here the um, silicon dioxide and not the manganese oxide. So we'll have to, and what I want to do is throw away the rest of it. So we'll have to do some filters for that. In fact, I think I've got some filters with me. Basic item filters, I have good. So, on this one here, we're going to set this as an insert. And we're going to put one filter into here like this. And what we're going to filter out of here, let's take this out of here, let's just take one of these. So we shall then whitelist this. I can't do that. Yes. So I can whitelist these. But that's not going to work because it needs to come in the top. Well done. Let's do that like this. Right, and then I come back over here, of course. And I'll take this filter out of here. But that's actually configured. So I can use that filter in here anyway, if I could then see it. If I can't reach it, I'll just shift left click like that, and then you can reach it. So this is an insert with this filter. So it's inserting silicon dioxide into this one and then we're going to turn off this by right clicking it like that so now let's have a look remove this and delete see it out of my hand so that's working in there it's still got plenty of plenty of osmium coming into that nothing into there yet so i don't think i've turned this on i hope i don't have to extract this from the bottom now that's always active now you see it's working again and we can see silicon dioxide is coming into here which is where we want it to be so all we want is them to produce gravel it's just like that one in the bottom put that in there actually and then we can take the gravel out I think we have to take the gravel out of the side again. We'll see. Let's just try that. Of course, I, what I haven't got with me is anything else. So let's have a look. Have I got another barrel? No. Let's quickly go back and get another barrel. I should probably take a couple with me, shouldn't I? Let's take five. And put the rest of them in the in in the bag of holding. And I've got a funny feeling you have to take this out of the the under the side of it. We'll soon find out. Actually, I don't even. How's that getting powered? That's weird. No, it's got no it's unpowered no, zero rf of course it's not okay so we right click that one a little bit of that direction just check that's what's going on let's remove this now of course let's take this and put these barrels up here somewhere so that's always active so we now need to give it power and i've got a feeling if i give it power here 
one up like that it should just simply connect and then start to give it power which it has but it's filling in and I don't think we're getting any out at the moment but it should be coming out let's try this underneath it and do it like that and then of course we have to configure this one so auto extract And sure enough, we're getting gravel. So then I can remove. I should can remove this one, can't I? And just simply make this go underneath the barrel like this. Put the barrel on the floor, as we did last time. Already got a stack in there. I'll be careful how I do that. Let's come in here and get these two out of here. Or one of them anyway, and put it down like this. And then we've got that connected. Let's change the iterons to push it in. Have a look, and you'll see this is actually going up reasonably fast, ready for the next stage. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this. It's actually quite an interesting process doing this. Um, in fact, I could actually see even more by putting some more of these power cables along here like this, couldn't I? And then removing the ones at the bottom. Let's do that. So that's those one cable. And if you're doing that with them, um, that's what you normally start with is the extra utilities, transfer nodes and transfer pipes. You just need more space underneath it, but then you wouldn't be in the TARDIS to do that. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next time we'll carry on and we'll start to do the rest of this business to actually produce the minerals and then send the send those across to those machines we saw I'll probably do that on the floor above this was just for, to hide the sort of the grotty bits as it were and put the other machines up here so until then bye for now <laughs>